Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, we've rolled around to another time for Bob's Blazing Tarot blog, the blog that truly blazes. Here it is, Friday, the 25th of January already. This month has gone by very quickly. And as usual, I'm going to go over the energies of last week's reading, what we're coming into now for this upcoming week, and what lies ahead of us at the end of the week. So as always, it's interesting, entertaining, blazing. Stick around. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now this card was very nice. It was a Four of Cups. Moon in Cancer. Sensitive, loving, energy, entitled luxury. And it kind of implies that we realize what we have as opposed to what we do not have. And also, Moon in Cancer is psychically sensitive. I felt, honestly, honest to God, I have felt more psychic the last few days than usual. And in some of my private readings, I was coming out with stuff that was kind of uncannily accurate, you know, describing people or situations, uh, objects. It was just, it was very, very, very interesting. And I do feel like that influence has been running strong right now. And as a matter of fact, now, as this week continues on, we have more water energy, okay? It's cups are water, water is spirit, emotions, sensitivity. More of that is coming to us. That's right. The energy we're coming into now is the Two of Cups. Now, this card was a recent visitor on the blog. Two of Cups, entitled Love, is attributed to Venus in Cancer. Venus, planet of love, a passion of creativity in that sensitive sign of cancer. So this is love. Now, of course, we can translate this as being literal love with somebody else. And for some of us, that could be a real blessing. Uh, for a lot of us, it's going to be more of a love of a passion, something that we enjoy doing, being in connection with our heart space. In Venus can Cancer, if that's not connection with heart space, I don't know what is. So we're going to feel very connected with our passion. Our passion could be an art that we enjoy. It could be our business. It could be against somebody else that we are intimately attached to. But it's something we care about. We're going to care. We're going to be in touch with our heart. And we're going to be operating from the heart space, which generally will lead us to some pretty positive things as long as we trust it. And that's the key word, trust, because that gets tested, as we see in the next card. Yes. The third and final card, the card for the end of this week, is the Five of Swords. Now, he has also been a recent visitor on the blog. He comes up because it represents mental negativity. It is basically Venus in Aquarius. So here we have, we have this Venus theme running. And Aquarius and Venus, they're not real well aspected together. Venus is from the heart, Aquarius is from the head. It can be disconnected, disconnecting head from heart or heart from head, however you want to say it. It's not a particularly practical experience. It's not enjoyable. It's basically ripping ourselves apart mentally. So how do we counteract that? Well, we stay in our heart space. Don't let the head rule. If you have to make a decision, you have to use your noggin, of course, but you want to stay in touch with how you feel about it. How does it fit in with your dreams, with your passions, with your goals? Is it helping you towards it? Is it keeping you from it? Is it sidetracking you? Or is it moving you forward? This is what we need to look at. This is what we need to examine if we need to make decisions towards the end of this week. These things are strictly temporary. Five of Swords will fall by the wayside. I'll bet we'll have some very charming cards the following week. But for right now, this is what we're looking at. So there you go. The blog is blazed. And again, you blazed with it. We've had some fun here and giving you some hopefully good information that helps you. I do care about you. I appreciate your support. Until I see you next week, many, many blessings.